Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing the best makeup products for dry skin. We've got makeup, skincare, basically just a guide out there for anyone with dry skin. If you feel like products don't sit well on your skin because of your skin type, this video is for you. I actually posted a video like this for the first time, I believe two years ago, and I was looking at it the other day, and many of the products are no longer available, and some of the other ones, I'm like, you know what? I found even better alternatives now, so I wanted to do an updated version. If you're new here, I upload Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern. I would love for you to subscribe, and let's go ahead now and hop into the products. Okay, let's start with prep, skincare, and primers. I have a weird recommendation here, but I swear to you, this is like the holy grail. It makes my foundation go on so much better, and it's my sunscreen. So this is from Supergoop, and I don't recommend this formulation if you have oily skin, but if you have very dry skin, this is unbelievable. So this is their Everyday Play Lotion. It is SPF 50, and this is a chemical sunscreen. This is pretty heavy and it almost has a greasy film to it but in the best way if you have dry skin so when i wear this i feel like i can completely skip primer if i'm doing my makeup like soon enough after applying it let's say i apply this and then i do my makeup two hours later i would probably still do a primer but for the most part this leaves my skin so hydrated and it's not one of those products that immediately soaks in with most moisturizers and most other sunscreens they really soak into my skin right away my skin just takes it right in because it's that dry in the winter right now this does not it still has that like balmy consistency on it for quite a while so it is a bit heavy but if you have dry skin i actually think it works great as a sunscreen which of course we always need but also as a base okay obviously the one product everyone says hey if you have dry skin you need this ingredient hyaluronic acid and i do stand by that i love the hyaluronic acid from the ordinary i buy the two ounce bottle just because it's a slightly better value this is pretty much the most affordable hyaluronic acid serum that you will find but the key is Hyaluronic acid is a humectant, so make sure you're applying it when your skin is still a little bit damp. Don't let your skin completely dry off. Don't pat it dry. When it still has some moisture there, apply the serum and then immediately apply some sort of occlusive moisturizer over top to lock it in. Because if you just put this on dry skin right now, especially if you live in a dry climate and you're not locking it in or anything, you're gonna kind of make your skin worse because it's gonna pull from your lower layers of the skin to pull the hydration because that's its main job. So if you're using hyaluronic acid and you're finding that it's actually not helping, and it's perhaps causing your skin to be drier, that might be the reason because it doesn't have the hydration to pull from, so it's pulling from the lower layers of your skin. So make sure you do this on damp skin and then immediately lock it in. Okay, primers. Primers, I don't always feel like primer makes a difference, but depending on your skin type, if you're extremely dry, it might, especially if you're doing your makeup an hour or two after your skincare routine and those products have already soaked in, you might wanna add some more hydration. And these three are my top recommendations. The most heavy duty is this one from Glossier. This is their Prime Rich Moisturizer. So they have their regular priming moisturizer and then this is the Prime Moisturizer in the rich format. So it's thicker. Very heavy, very occlusive. It is gonna lock everything in. But unfortunately, it is very fragranced. So I do want to caution you of that because fragrance can be an irritant. I do try to avoid fragrance and for that reason, I don't know that I will repurchase this until they come out with a fragrance-free version. But if that's not a downside to you, this is probably the most effective primer that I can recommend to dry skin because it's just very heavy, very moisturizing. But if you want something a little bit more lightweight that's still going to give you a similar effect, but it's going to soak in a little bit better and not be as heavy, maybe if you're like, I don't have super dry skin, I'm just kind of dry. This one from Becca is fantastic. This is an older product, but I still think it is such a staple. I've actually gone through a whole bottle of this. I'm on my second one. This is the first light priming filter. And I always have to double check because I always misspeak and say the backlight or the first light. I always say the wrong one. This is the first light. Again, fragranced. Ugh, that's the tricky part with makeup, like 
primers, they usually have fragrance in them, which is a bummer. So this kind of has a citrusy scent, whereas this is more of like a powdery scent. This is a lot thinner and it's not as heavy. So again, if you're kind of like normal to dry or not extremely dry, you will probably like this one. And because of the purple tint, it helps to counteract dullness, which is something we can struggle with with dry skin. So I love this one. And then for more of an oily consistency, this is the Celestial Supernova Skin Elixir from Flower Beauty. So a nice affordable option. This, the tiniest bit goes a long way. Do not do like those Instagram videos, like dripping it all over your face or you will be a greasy mess. Even if you have the driest skin in the world, it's too much. So all I do, I seriously take like a drop on my finger and then I target it to different spots, do another drop, target it. You don't need a lot. It's kind of oily, but it's not really a sticky oily. It's a smooth oily. So I feel like foundation over top goes over it really well. Okay, foundations. I think I need to speed this up because I've been here a while and I have not gone through too many products yet. But what I have found with dry skin, a lot of times it's unfortunate and we're starting to see this change a little bit, but for the most part in the industry, the hydrating products available are very light coverage. And then the full coverage products available are usually pretty matte. So I do have a few light coverage products, but I do have a more like medium buildable coverage option to mention as well, if that's more your style. So these three are all drugstore and they're all amazing. Similar coverage level, but the lowest coverage level is this one. This is the Get Real Serum Foundation from Flower Beauty. I cannot recommend this highly enough. This looks so natural on the skin. It's so dewy, but the coverage is like sheer light. You can build it up to like a highlight coverage, highlight, a high light coverage, but it's you're definitely not gonna get this to full coverage. Maybe you could pair it with a concealer in certain spots and you could build coverage in the completed face, but this on its own, you're not gonna get too high, but that's why I love it. Very serum-y, very thin. Pretty similar to the Pretty Fresh from ColourPop. I would say this has a touch more coverage, but still pretty light coverage, like light, medium. Both of these are very dewy. I do recommend setting them down with a light powder if you don't want transfer, because if you don't set these two down, for the first hour or two, you would probably feel a little bit tacky. Eventually they'll set down, but I do recommend a light dusting of powder. And then this product is so polarizing, but personally, I really love it. This is the Clean Fresh Skin Milk from CoverGirl. Now, I wanna just put a warning on this that some people do have reactions to this. I've had people break out from wearing this. I've also heard of people just having some like burning sensations on their skin. So I do want to note that of course, but personally, I have not experienced that. And this is one of the most beautiful, natural looking foundations. So this is more of a true light buildable coverage, a little bit more coverage than these two but still is gonna look really natural. All very hydrating, very dewy. They're gonna make your skin just look glowy and healthy and fresh. But if you want a little more coverage, let me recommend the Bare Minerals Foundation. So I actually wear Bare Minerals Matte because even though it describes itself as matte, I don't think it's actually that matte. I think it's more satin. But the original Bare Minerals formulation is very dewy, which seems strange because it's a powder but if you just sit there and really buff it into the skin it kind of becomes this creamy consistency and the coverage is pretty buildable you can get it up to a light version of full coverage i think it's one of the most natural looking foundations one of the best looking foundations up close i just rave about this formulation constantly so if you have dry skin the original formula from bare minerals you will probably love, especially if you have mature skin. It works really well on that as well. Concealer, that's another area. You know, if you have dry under eyes, it can be fine. It can be hard to find a concealer that's gonna sit well there. So I have two recommendations for you. One high-end, one drugstore. My drugstore one is a newer find for me. It's not a new product, but it's a newer find for me. It's the Born to Glow from NYX. So this doesn't have the most coverage. They claim it to be full coverage. I would say medium buildable, and it actually comes on this little doe foot. So because of the applicator, I pronounce that so, or the applicator, because of the way the applicator is designed, it really 
applies a pretty thin layer of product, which is nice for an everyday look, especially if you have dry under eyes, because it's not going to cake it on. Whereas some concealers in a wand with the doe foot, I feel like I can apply too much by accident. You won't have that problem with this. Very hydrating. It sits well under the eyes, but just know I don't think it's as full coverage as some other concealers, but I think it's very good. Also, holy moly, this is like one of the, this is the most underrated concealer on the market in my opinion. Again, Bare Minerals, just their whole line is great for dry skin, but this is the Bare Pro Concealer. It is a cream concealer in a stick format. This is so concentrated, a little bit goes a very long way. I love using this on like the blue on the inner corner of my eyes. Sometimes I will use this and then follow up with a really light coverage concealer just to brighten a little bit. This, beautiful for every day, and it's so emollient that it basically blends itself out and it's not gonna cling on to dry patches. It's not gonna look dry, it's not gonna look heavy. I've never found a concealer that just melts into the skin better than this one. Okay, powders. That's another tricky category when you have dry skin. You're like, you know, I want to set this down, but I don't want it to be powdery. I don't want it to be heavy. I don't want it to dry out my skin. These are the two I recommend. I was going to throw in the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, and that's an honorable mention, but I do find that that can give me more of a matte finish. So just keep that in mind. It's not heavy, but if you're still wanting your skin to be kind of glowy, it might mattify you a little more than you want. Not that it's not glowy, but these two are more lightweight. So first of all, my drugstore option, the Prep Set Glow from Milani. Not to be confused with the Prep Set and Go, which is a mattifying powder. This is the Glow. You can see I've hit pan on it. This has these really teeny, teeny, tiny, like micro glitter particles. Don't worry though. You won't see them on the skin, but they just give this radiant finish. If you have oily skin, this probably wouldn't be enough to like lock it down if you wanted to really lock your foundation in. You're still going to have a lot of glow coming through, but if you have dry skin and you need something not too heavy, this is the one. High-end option, similar formula, but this one is less of like that radiant finishing powder and more of a like gives you a filtered effect almost so this is from bite beauty this is their change maker powder i wear the shade two i also have the shade one but i think two is a better match for me again it's just not too heavy it's very lightweight but it's still gonna lock your makeup in and this will make your makeup last all day because that's another tricky thing with more of these hydrating foundations they don't always have as good of a wear time as their matte counterparts so this i think does a great job of locking that product in all right if you guys have other recommendations to share that work really well for dry skin please leave them down below to help everyone out while they're reading through the comments i really hope this video was helpful and i will go ahead and see you in my next one bye